Hey Impact Kids Church, it's Pastor Bill here. Welcome back to our channel. We have a great lesson in store for you. So let's get ready and start the countdown. Okay, so it's called Squirrels the Musical. Okay. Yeah, so we open on a scurry of squirrels. Natural. And they're all introducing themselves, getting ready for the great jamical ball. Okay. And Elder Leviticus will choose which of the squirrels will travel to the oaky side layer. Oaky side layer? Yes, it's a land that's filled with milk and acorns. Oh, but only one squirrel gets to go. Yes. Okay, so it's like a competition. Well, part competition, part ancient ceremony. Mm, makes for good theater. Mm -hmm. But do you really think that someone will come to a musical called Squirrels? Well, it's called Squirrels the Musical, and yes, I mean, there was a musical on Broadway for 18 years about cats. Oh. It's true. So here's the song, The Naming of the Squirrels. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I... On behalf of the Concerned Squirrel Society, you are hereby ordered to cease and desist. I, I, I... Are you a squirrel? Are you a squirrel? Oh, uh, no. Exactly. And if you even think about playing one single note of that, we will have an army of 2 a.m. dodgeball playing squirrels that will find a home in every ceiling and every wall and every crevice of this house. Do I make myself clear? Thank you. 
you know, what do you think about Fish is the Musical? Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. Now John, you have some big news to share with everyone today, right? Absolutely, I get my new pet today. He's named Bingo. Exciting. Sure, but I'm a little nervous. Oh, I thought you'd be excited. Well, yeah, it's a big responsibility. Sure. I'm gonna have to work really hard. Do you not feel ready or? I mean, I'm reading all the books, watching all the videos, but I still don't know what it's like. To train a pet. No, no, to be the pet. Yeah, that's why I've uh, decided to put myself in someone else's paws. It's time to be bingo! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bingo. Bingo! Bingo, is that my shoe? Is that, give me this shoe, put it down, put it, bingo. Bingo, no bingo, no bingo. Give me the shoe. Bingo, bingo sit, shake, speak. How you doing? Oh, good boy. I'm a good boy. Good boy, good boy. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> mm. Okay. Just throw it. I'll show you how to do it. B I N G. B I N G. B I N G. And Ping was his name. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You think you're ready? I am. Special delivery for John. It's your pet, Bingo. <gasps> Hello, Bingo. <coughs> Did you know you were getting a cat? No. Who names a cat Bingo? <coughs> it's Bible story time. How's it going? Not bad. Did one of y'all get a cat? John did. Oh, I love him. His name is Bingo. Who names a cat Bingo? My thoughts exactly. Hey, do you have a story for us today? I sure do. Take it away. Our story today isn't so much a story, but a couple of verses from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is a book in the Old Testament. The majority of Proverbs was written by King Solomon, who was known for his wisdom. He wrote down a lot of wise things we can do in our lives. Our verses today are Proverbs 6, 6 through 8, and this is what they say. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler. But it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Well, hi de ho Did someone call an ant? How's it going there? Oh, uh... Hi, and you are? Jill, the ant. Oh, hi Jill. <laughs> so, tell me, do you work hard? Oh yes, definitely. Oh, <gasps> you won't believe it. A kid just dropped a half-eaten apple and her mom wouldn't let her pick it up. Cha-ching! So that's what you're doing, ah, eating an apple. That sounds like a lot of work for a little ant. Oh yeah, we have to. We'll eat some now, but then we'll store up some of the apple for later. If we don't store up our food when we have it, it's going to be tough to get through the times when there isn't as much food. So you're not lazy? Oh, absolutely not. In fact, I'll be right back. I have to make a quick run to the hill. Well, sometimes in the verse, the person who doesn't want to work is called a sluggard. Oh, here we go again. Excuse me? I heard someone use the word sluggard. And you're a sluggard? No, I'm a slug. A sluggard is someone that is lazy. I'm a slug, one of the many shellless terrestrial pulmonate gastropod mollusks. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. And your name is? Jim. Well, thanks, Jim. 
Have you seen Jill? Oh, hi, Jim. Hey, Jill. You still working? I am. Are you? Eh, kinda. Jim, are you wasting your whole day playing video games again? Excuse me. I'm not playing video games. I'm watching other slugs play video games. Big difference. But have you gathered any food? You know, there's a famous slug saying, why do today what you can put off until tomorrow? I think that's don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. I think Jill is right. Of course you think she's right. Everyone thinks she's right. But Jim, do you work hard? Eh, I'm not really a work hard kind of slug. Are you a more of a stop and smell the roses kind of slug? Hmm, well, I'm more of a let someone else smell the roses and then tell me what it was like so I don't have to get off the couch kind of slug. So you are a slug, but are you a sluggard too? Eh, I gotta go. So, Jill, why do you work hard? Oh, well, it feels great to work hard and do a good job. Do you do it because someone tells you to? No. I mean, I work together with a lot of ants. I found if everyone works hard together on something, you can accomplish a lot more than just working by yourself. And do you ever rest? Oh, sure. I find times to rest. That's important, too. But I save my rest for when after my work is done. A healthy work-life balance is important. <gasps> oh, speaking of, I've got a bit more work to do before I can call it a day. Gotta run. All right. Thanks for dropping by. Sure thing. Well, the hard work of the ant should help remind us that working hard is one of our responsibilities. And you can also think of Jesus, who worked hard to serve and love others when he was here. Let's look at the verses one final time. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler. But it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. So be like the ant and not like the slug. Back to you guys. Thanks. I mean, ants do work hard. Just don't invite them to a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh -huh. But I do love the book of Proverbs and, and how it has some pretty simple illustrations of ways to live a better life. Yeah, yeah, and working hard is one of those ways. It sure is. Oh, reveal the question. <laughs> ah, when have you had to work hard? Well, I had to work really hard learning how to be a dog so that I can take good care of my cat. You might want to rethink that one. Yeah. Uh, I work hard mowing my lawn, and I work hard on learning fractions. Oh, fun! Mm -hmm. I work hard trying to learn new things, even, even things that are hard for me to pick up on really quick. Yeah, sometimes I have to work hard to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, I pay attention to what? Hmm? Sometimes I have to work hard to get along with people who are hard to get along with. Yes, it's important that we work hard because God created us to work hard and do the best job we can do. It doesn't mean you don't get to rest and relax and have some fun sometimes, but we all have things that we need to work hard on. Like learning what it means to be a cat. Sounds good. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do the, you're gonna do a thing, try to be a cat now? Yep, yep. Ready? Right. Yeah, sure. Go. Oh, this is, this is a cat. Gastropod mollusks. I don't know what that word is. Mollux, mollusks? Mollusks. Okay, now try to get away from me. Oh, good cat. Speak. Speak. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> Or dance, or dance. That's actually drums. Yeah, play, play the, drums. the drums. Here, you need a stick. Oh man, I took my head off and went. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey. Feel the wrath of my claws! Ow! <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Parents, if you're watching, make sure you like and subscribe on the video below so you can see all the other videos that we have here for you. You can see all things impact at impactpittsburgh.com. I hope you have a great week. See you again soon.